Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, um, right away into the previous video, I had discussed in with you all about the sets, right? This was what we see, we had seen about that sets are the unordered collections, right? These are iterables, mutables, you do not have any duplicates in the sets, right? Uh, even I told you that it is a highly optimized method and that is the reason uh, we use this the, we use the set instead of list many a times whenever you have to find some uh, number or, or some index of the number right these were the things we have discussed up into the previous video now today I'll be introducing you to a very new type of a set and that is called as a frozen sets okay I'll just put up a uh, hash over here and I'll just help you with that python Python frozen sets right that is what uh, I'll be now discussing in with you all over here it might be happening that for you it's a very new term frozen sets right so yeah uh, that is also very important uh, while into your data structures for your Python programming language this frozen sets is also quite a very important term which we have up over here right now what are these frozen sets uh, why did they came up into the role? What is the use of these rows and sets? We'll be discussing all of those things now, right? Great. So now as I told you sets, what are those sets are mutable, right? I told you that mutable means that you can add any element, you can delete any element. These all the stuff you can do up in the sets. But if I talking about what are frozen sets? So frozen sets are the type of the sets which are immutable. Now here comes in that if the interviewer is asking to you about that, uh, uh, tell me about sets, right? So there you will be mentioning about that, okay, sets are iterable, sets are mutable and the things, but, and you will even say, we have one type of sets which are your frozen sets. So frozen sets, those are the immutables which we have up over here. You need to mention this also over at that particular place, right? So I will just write uh, immutable. So immutable means that you cannot change up any respective value. You can't add any value. You can't delete any value onto your frozen sets. That is what is your immutable, right? And uh, it's like that frozen sets, these uh, types of sets, they only and only support up those methods or the, those of the functions or those operations, right? which uh, pre, which they like, give you the result like without affecting up any of the set right now let's say there is one frozen one set which i have made in right one set example let's say if i go above here okay let's say this is a set which i have made in this five nine one two six three four this particular six right uh, this particular set now um this particular, if I make that as frozen set, if I convert the set to a frozen set, so this will be uh, working only onto those methods and only onto those particular operations where the result which will be produced will not affect any of my set onto this particular set into which I have been, I will be applying my frozen set, I'll be applying up my uh, methods I'll be applying up my operations. So it should not affect any of my set which is over here. Then only your frozen set can be made and then only you can say make this particular set as a frozen set. Right? That is what is the thing you have to uh, remember up here very 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 clearly. Right? So you have a method in Python which is your um, frozen set this is the function right so this frozen set function you generally use this for converting any respective set to a frozen set right now as i told you that whatever the elements you will have up into a set only set right that can be modified that can be changed at any time all right and the elements which you are having up in the frozen set right they will remain same once you have created that particular set as a frozen set now it will remain same you can't make in any modifications you can't make in any changes over those types of respective ones right and one other
another thing over the frozen sets is that if you are having no parameters no parameters are passed see if you have not passed any parameters into a frozen set right if you haven't passed up any parameters it will uh, return empty frozen set right if you have no parameters which are being passed it will return a simple empty frozen set to you so this could be one again a question for you or it might be into some problem statement or something that um, you do not have to pass in any parameters over there so now you can help me out with that what will that particular uh, set or empty set or empty frozen set will return right it will simply return up an empty frozen set nothing more than that right that is done perfect now if i had uh, talking a little about your uh, how you can convert up a set to our respective uh, frozen set what is the method right if i'm talking about that one so what I'll do, I'll just like to come fr underscore set. This is my variable, let's say fr underscore set. Okay. So um, I can just simply take it up, uh, I, I can take it up a list and convert that to a set. Let's say um, 2, 8, 4, 6, 1, 0, 4, let's say no, 4, uh, 3. Fine, this is one of my sets which I have made up over here. Now, next what I'll do, uh, I, I can print up this particular set, right? I can simply print up uh, this set as fr underscore set. Okay, s will be small. Perfect. And now if I just have to convert up this respective set onto uh, a frozen set, right? So, cv underscore fr, that is convert frozen. Uh, it will be equal to fro f r o z e n frozen set frozen set is my function as i was talking about right putting up the brackets these large brackets and inside that you can define up your uh, respective set over here right so let's say i have an upper set as a um, you can even take some uh, alphabetical orders as well as let's say h a um M, like this right so that is how you convert up a set to a frozen set and I'm just gonna print up that CV underscore FR also and I'll just like try to comment no let's let's not comment I'll just like keep it like this only let's run it up over here and check out what's the final result see first I just got in the set of me which has been uh, automatically arranged up uh, I guess yeah automatically which has been automatically arranged up uh, into your ascending order right and next year I am getting up that particular frozen set of me so come over here and yes this is my frozen set this frozen set has been shuffled right it has automatically been uh, shuffled over here see is that particular th thing happens up actually like if you are uh, declaring up any respective set over here so uh, firstly it will be so if it is numbers it will be sorted up um, automatically into the ascending order right and if frozen set the, the values which you are having up over here these might shuffle in and uh, these things might happen up over here right now just uh, try to make sure to see one simple thing over here very carefully i have defined up this respective onto the list right i had put in a large brackets right and what result in the result i am getting that in the curly brackets so it means that my uh previously i was having up a list which is shamsham sham sham was one of my lists right i had uh, converted that to a frozen set so once it has been converted to a frozen set, my brackets will also change in. I'll be getting the curly brackets. So at some time, if you're receiving some uh, MCQs based over the sets like this or any, any sort of questions where you are having up a frozen set and a statement like this and you're having four different options to choose the correct option. So at that particular case, you have to very, very, very carefully see about the brackets which are over there. Right, when, when we, you are converting up a data type to the other data type, you have to be very much sure, very much sure, specific about the brackets also which are being used up over there because that is also very, very, very important for you to look over and to see also.
right so i hope i am pretty clear with this pros and sets to everyone over here like what is this and um how do you use it and generally where will you use this rose and sets right i hope i am clear now here i'll again leave you up with one simple question once again and um, what question shall i put in up over here yes so the question which i'll be putting up here in front of you is that we know that uh, this is immutable right you can't change it up over here you this is our immutable right so now if you try to add in up some a uh, sort of a uh, uh, number some sort of alphabet once your frozen set has been created so what type of error will you get over there what will be the type of error which you will be getting will logical syntax type error what type of error will you get in if you have if you are trying to add in or modify a frozen set where this is a question for this particular video so i hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing to all of you about the frozen set and still we are having a lot of stuff to starting the set so for that i'll be continuing this into the next video so if you have enjoyed this video do like this video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe out my channel see you there in the next video